fully gold inventory for CS2 and most skins are cheap, however some are expensive and some are super expensive. And starting off with the P2K Scorpion and I personally don't use the P2K but there is no golden skin for the USP as far as I know so I had to go with this one and this in factory new costs around 3.8 dollars. Next up for the Glock I chose the brass which looks very shiny under direct sunlight and the better the float the shinier it is and this one that I'm showing you is in minimal wear which costs around 25 dollars. For the P250 I went to the Apex Curse which is one of my favorite skins for this pistol, it is not fully gold I know but it mostly is and it is kinda expensive though as the field test will cost you about $28. And then for the 5.7 I chose the Cooper Galaxy which is very shiny, it looks amazing and the best part is that it is pretty cheap as you can get the factory new version, it is $5.6. For the Tech 9 I chose the Brass which is just perfect for this loadout and it is not that expensive as the minimal wear is $7.5. Going over to the Deagle, the Bronze Deco is the best that you can get for this loadout and it is super cheap as you can get it in factory new for just 35 cents. This video was sponsored by Skins Monkey, which is a trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CS2 skins for some new shiny ones in seconds. You just select the skins that you want to trade and the ones that you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website, you get a bonus of up to $5 for free and a 35% and bonus when buying balance. They also host giveaways in the freebies page and link to Skins Monkey is in the description. For the MAC-10 I chose a souvenir MAC-10 Gold Break Minimal Wear which costs around $21.2 but a fun fact is that the non-souvenir version costs almost $40 so if you don't want the stickers just get the souvenir for almost half the price and scratch the stickers off. For the FAMAS I went with the commemoration which is literally the best pick possible here and you can get it in minimal wear for under $7. For the Galil I chose the Shire Box which isn't gold but it's kinda yellow so it is goldish, I guess it works because there's no other choice possible, the well worn is $12 and the field tested is around $60 and if you want a low float one it is going to be almost $90 as this skin cannot be minimal wear or factory new. For the M41S I chose the golden coil which is perfect as the name says and the minimal wear version costs around $70. Going over to the M4A4 the coalition isn't fully gold but I think it's the best that can be done for this loadout honestly and the field tested version is $22 so it is not that expensive. You can also do the m 4 h Lord in battles card as the higher the float the more golden it is as you can see in the video and this one is much cheaper as it is under two dollars. For the AK-47 this is tricky but you can go for the gold arabesque which is the obvious choice but the minimal wear is around 2.1k so it is very expensive, if you want a cheaper version you can go for the Legion of Anubis in factory new for just $12 but this one is not fully gold, it has some touches of gold but it's mostly yellowish but it isn't bad. For the op I went to the Dragon Lore which is the best pick here but obviously the minimal wear is almost $9000 so it is super expensive. If you want a cheap option we have the black now as well and this one you wanna get it in battles card because the higher the float the more gold it is going to be and you can get this one for much cheaper as it is just around 3 or 4 dollars. Going over to the knife and glove combo my preferred one is the Karambit Lore with the Sport Loves Omega which to me is the best combo here but it is very expensive so if you want something cheaper go for the Huntsman Lore Minimal Wear with the Broken Fang Gloves Yellow Bandit in Minimal Wear as well. The knife will cost around $205 and the gloves are $106. So the total price of this combo is going to be around $311 and here you can change the knife to any other that has the lore skin. As for the agent just pick any that has a gold watch such as the Sir Bloody Darrow, uh, the Professionals which is the one that I've been using for the video. And that is it if you guys would change anything let me know down in the comments, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily CS2 content.